Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this Sony Vegas tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make the trigger effect like this. So that looks really awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the exact same thing what I just show you guys uh, in this Sony Vegas tutorial. So make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you guys can see, as usual, we have Sony Vegas open and basically the next thing, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna just drag in the picture that you want to make you know, like shake and everything. So what I did, I just you know went to, onto Photoshop. I took a screenshot of a, of a video and I just placed the triggered picture on there because if you're only gonna use like the trigger, uh, the only the picture like this, if you only going to place the trigger effect as you guys can see right here at the bottom and then like an like a screenshot you have to animate them both and everything to make them go like at the same time so what i just did i just go to i went to photoshop i took a screenshot of a video i placed the trigger like picture already in there so the only thing we need to do is make it move and add the sound effect that's a lot faster if you want to have like the triggered picture and the sound effect in used in this video uh you can find the link in the description you can find like a bly link to the download link so you can download those two things uh, so you can get started right away so let's start off with the first thing as you guys can see right here we have the triggered uh, picture so the trigger i think the trigger um like effect shouldn't very, last very long i would say maybe like two seconds so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to this uh, event pan crop icon and you want to work with keyframes now keyframes are actually like little uh, dots that make movements happen okay so as you guys can see right here it says it, uh, like the f icon and everything is everything is in the screen so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over and press all, like right here place your marker right there and then just twist it a little bit as you guys can see it creates a white dot that's a keyframe so then you just want to move on to the next one, just make it like shake like this. Next one, make it also go back like that. Boom, also do it like this. Keep on doing this, keep on placing keyframes and keep on turning uh, the actual screen until you are happy with it. So I'm just going to keep on doing it real quick. So it will look very, very um, like moving. It's going to move really fast. So I just have to go ahead and do this, place keyframes every time I just, you know, uh, twist this image. Two hours later. So as you clearly can see, we have a lot of keyframes right here. And those are actually like the movements going like, like this. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks right now. So this is what we made, this is what we made already. So as you guys can see, it is triggering very fast, but it's really short. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy all the keyframes. So you want to hold control, click on all the keyframes. You want to select them all. I'm going to do that right now. So I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you guys in a second when I selected everything. Boom, now that I've selected all the keyframes, I'm going to press control C, place one keyframe further and press control V. And as you guys can see, it saves us a lot of time uh, with keyframes. So I'm just going to keep on placing all those keyframes right here and it makes a shitload of keyframes right here. So I'm just going to place the keyframe right there, boom. And this is basically how it looks when we did that. That's looking awesome, guys. So as you guys can see, this is like just triggering like crazy. And what you wanna do, the next thing is you wanna only place the sound effect underneath it. So I'm gonna drag in that sound effect so right now. Let me go open, let me open the folder. Uh, right here and I just downloaded the sonic boom of course there are a lot of different like trigger sound effects you can use but this is basically how it's going to uh, sound so I'm just going to you know put on my headset for a second so I can show you guys also so this is how it looks cut out a little bit right here boom right there let's see this is how it looks that looks really awesome so that's basically how you made the trigger effect guys of course it's just like a sonic boom sound effect you can find you can go ahead and find you know the, the trigger sound effects uh, on itself uh, on youtube so that's basically how we do it you want to use keyframes and if this video went by too fast make sure to go ahead and pause and rewind it so that's it for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video that is how you do it so i would say this is for last time this is how it looks looking really awesome so that's it for the video guys thank you so much for the continued support thank you guys for almost 58 and a half thousand subscribers it is crazy i cannot thank you guys enough for that i cannot keep on i'm just i can keep on saying this forever but it is true thank you so much for this opportunity so if you find this video helpful make sure to leave me in the comments down below and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow